I grew up like going to church and um, yeah, but I never like actually wanted to go. I would only go because we were promised Tim Hortons or McDonald's afterwards. Um, so my big back was the reason why I went to church mainly and never heard anything about the gospel. Growing up, my life was very happy. It was very fun. There wasn't like much suffering that I ever went through. It was just like a very easy breezy, beautiful cover curl um, life for a while. And when I turned 12, my parents ended up getting a divorce when I was in middle school which kind of rocked my world uh, entirely. And I got really depressed and really anxious and was constantly like, questioning what my life is gonna look like. What does marriage look like? What is the point of doing anything anymore? If like my parents' marriage failed, then life must fail as well. Yeah, I was just really depressed for a good like three years until high school at freshman orientation. I met my best friend, Olivia, who was, uh, yeah, she brought me out to her high school group. Um, it didn't take much convincing for me to go, weirdly. Um, yeah, I didn't really take anything out of that teaching or um, most of it. I was just kind of there for the fun and to like make new friends and to like join another clique, I guess, if you will. And um, yeah, so I went out there for, I think four months before I finally accepted Christ. Um, and after I accepted Christ, I was in my bathroom in the shower and I was just like, okay, this God thing seems kind of cool. So like people keep telling me about and so yeah, I accepted Christ and it was just like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I like felt like I like finally belonged somewhere, but I didn't also fully like know the reason like why I accepted Christ. I just kind of did it. Yeah, after isolation was over, my junior year started and that's where my life took a complete turn. Um, even though like my walk with God was thriving, I like internally didn't feel like I was thriving. I think my flesh like really took over and um, I started to smoke a lot of weed and like started doing drug or drinking and um, yeah, like during that whole time, I was just like lying to all my friends, lying to all my family about like this life that I'm living. Like, it's on the outside, it looked like I was living this like perfect Christian girl life, you know? Um, but actually I just wasn't at all. I was in school and at work, like doing all these like other things that are so opposite of what God calls us to do. Um, and I think, yeah, like during that time, like I got back into the depression and anxiety that I'd already felt before um, and ended up um, like starting like counseling and stuff like that, which didn't really work um, because I think God was like constantly drawing me back to him. He would always remind me of uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, where he calls us to be sober-minded and um, yeah, to like be cautious because the devil is prowling, prowling around like a roaring lion. And I think that would like always ring in the back of my ear every time I got high, but I would just like constantly ignore it and be like, it's a plant, God made it so I can smoke it, um, which is just not true in any way, shape or form. Through that, I chose to make the second decision um, at Epic, and yeah, I just chose to like fully commit my life to God, realizing that I'm discipling someone while also living this double life. Like, which one is better? Like, obviously, following God is way better than living a double life. And um, I like never felt like the like depression and anxiety and like all of this like crazy things that I did feel in like while I was living my double life um, outside of like after making the second decision. And so I finally chose to do it, um, and it was cool too because. The girl I was mentoring also made the second decision the same night. I like realized like these things I just should not be doing. These are not like helping my walk with God in any way. I'm just suppressing all my feelings and emotions and not actually like going to God and handing them over to him and experiencing his grace. And it was, um, yeah, like when I made the second decision at Epic, um, which was where I was just like, God, I need you. Like I need help. I need something to like help me stop doing this, these things. and. I just, I want to experience your grace like I experienced when I first came to Christ. And um, yeah, and so like I like realized that like I can't do any of these things on my own. I'm trying to live this life by myself and like community is like on the edge of like living my life, but it's not like actually what my life should be centered around. And the value of life is following God and is like living my life for Him. And it's not like for living my life for myself, but I can like focus on other people and like focus on, um, yeah, like reaching the lost and um, yeah, like doing things for God instead of doing things on my own.